humanitarian crisis, but before I do, I'm going to speak about the League of Nations. The League of Nations is an organisation which is proposed originally after World War I has finished, and it's proposed by the United States of America. The purpose of the League of Nations is to prevent future conflicts from breaking out. However, um, when they finally sit down to make the arrangements for the League of Nations, um, the USA actually decide not to join, and that leaves four key powers who are then a part of the League of Nations. Um, there are other powers involved as well, but four main nations who are involved who have any kind of power, shall we say, um, are Britain, Italy, France, um, and Japan. The League of Nations have two key things that they can do in order to maintain world peace. One, they can use military threats, if you like, against those people um, who might be threatening world peace. However, the League of Nations doesn't have an army. The League of Nations can also impose economic sanctions on anybody, again, who might be threatening world peace. However, if the USA are not part of the League of Nations, those economic sanctions are virtually useless. The USA is the main economic powerhouse in the world at this moment in time, um, and with them not being on board, economic sanctions are basically groundless. Um, moreover, you also find that in the League of Nations you have those four countries, Japan, Italy, France and Great Britain, who often act um, in a self-first manner. They look after themselves first and thereafter then they start to think about, um, they then start to think about maintaining world peace. So, the Manchurian Crisis. The Manchurian Crisis uh, is an event which occurs in 1931. In your exam, you are likely to be asked a question about the key features of this particular crisis. So, we will start by thinking about the Great Depression and Japan. The Great Depression starts in 1929 um, with the Wall Street crash. As a result of that Wall Street crash, America, serving their own interests, obviously, they start to impose heavy tariffs on Japanese goods, which means that the Japanese economy suffers quite a great deal. Unemployment rises, millions end up being unemployed, and many factories start to close. So Japan is severely uh, impacted upon by the Great Depression. The army in Japan at this particular time are a very influential organization. Um, they have very influential leaders who, in some respects, make some of the decisions um, based on Japan's foreign policy. Now, at this particular moment in time, because Japan are going through um, an economic downturn, um, they need more raw materials. They also need um, new markets for their goods, um, and they also need living space for their growing population. Manchuria, which is in China and is just across the sea from Japan, is the perfect candidate. Since the early part of the 20th century, Japan have owned a railway line, or at least they've been able to control a railway line, um, which runs through that particular area. Now, there was something called the Mukden Incident. Um, if you're a Tintin fan, um, you can look at a book called Tintin and the Blue Lotus. This is Tintin here in the background, witnessing firsthand this Mukden Incident. Um, what happened at the Mukden Incident? I'll tell you. So, in 1931, a bomb explodes near that Japanese railway line in Manchuria. Um, it is suspected that the Japanese set that bomb off themselves, but the Japanese have blamed the Chinese for that bomb going off. As a result of that bomb going off, they decide to invade Manchuria. Um, they invade Manchuria, um, and in 1932 their invasion is successful, and Manchuria becomes Manchukuo, which is um, the new name for Manchuria, and Manchuria now belongs to Japan. Clearly, there is international uproar, um, and the League reacts in the following ways. So, first of all, um, there's not a great deal they can do. Japan is a long, long way from, um, from Britain and France, who are the other key players in the League of Nations. Um, Japan is also a key member of the League of Nations, so it's almost like telling one of your friends off for having done something wrong. You know, They're not necessarily going to listen to you properly. Um, economic sanctions are useless because Japan's main trading partner is the USA. So if Britain and France say, no, this is the wrong thing for you to have done, uh, Japan can still continue to trade with the USA. Despite those tariffs, they are still mainly trading with the USA. Um, so Lord Lytton, uh, who is a member of the, uh, who's part of the British contingent in the League of Nations, should we say, he travels to Japan to investigate. However, when he does travel to Japan to investigate, 
he goes by boat. Um, now, clearly he doesn't go by rowing boat, but he does travel there uh, in a boat and it takes him months to get there. Um, he doesn't publish his findings until approximately one year later. And when he does publish those findings, clearly he insists that Japan had behaved in an in a unpleasant fashion, shall we say, and he insists on their withdrawal. Japan decides to leave the League of Nations.